expectations are from talking about love to talking about the trends but i do believe that this guest was a trending in studio today with some of the stories i was uh, getting to hear yeah mjolo is a pandemic here in harare i think it's just harare hansi ku harare kunongo fambirwa kutsvaga mari nekutsvaga basa zvekutsvaga rudo in our in our city now uh, my name is kirtley gwendy kurt my name and not by nature here to keep you up to speed with all the trends here on the social media yes this is your favorite segment on good morning as zimbabwe where we put a face and a voice to every side of the story we begin by speaking all things to do with the motherland to yes uh, we did hear and we are aware that the 13th and the 14th for africa big days because um yes floyd money mayweather the millionaire from uh, the money team is coming to zimbabwe and uh, he's landing tomorrow we are excited to be welcoming him we are excited to be hearing all things to do with boxing and we do hear that he's going to one of the special constituencies we won't tell you which one uh, but uh, yeah just look for a constituency near you an area near you specifically kuma location kuma rain uh, floyd money mayweather is going to be coming there and also going to be having a special dinner with a few uh, guests also meeting his excellency our president of zimbabwe let's just hear him speak to coming to the motherland zimbabwe africa the money man is on his way the motherland tour we start off in zimbabwe july 13th and 14th i need everybody in africa to mark your calendars july 15th and 16th in johannesburg south africa for more information about my tour go to www.floydmaywethermotherlandstour.com scott and ken i want to say thank you and to everybody in africa i want to say thank you I'm on my way. Many are asking why didn't we just put a hip hop song, you know, since he's such a hip hop enthusiast himself. Cuz it's a ja presere. I don't know about that closing billboard there but uh yeah he is coming and all the same uh, we're not too sure if he'll be meeting Jeff Fraser uh, himself but uh he's coming to the motherland big up to Scott uh, as you heard the man say boss Scott there uh from uh, the Mabuku constituency um supporting that movement supporting the idea of uh, bringing uh Floyd Money Mayweather to Zimbabwe and this morning from Zimbabwe we are taking you through uh, the United States as you heard from uh, Floyd Money Mayweather to South Africa where there was snow yes uh, many South Africans were shocked uh, in my lifetime I haven't seen it felt it or even heard about it uh, i mean i've been seeing it on tv but not really touched it and at this present moment i'm so jealous uh, for all the south africans even these ones who didn't even get to switch on their bikes let's watch People in South Africa's largest city have woken up to the rare sight of snow and locals made the most of the winter wonderland. I would maybe <laughs> maybe uh, do things we, we used to see in cartoons making snow angels and what not. But for others the snow has made life difficult. So I'm trying to warm the engine so that it can start like easily otherwise I'll kick the bike all day. While some parts of South Africa regularly experience snowy winters, Johannesburg last saw snow in August 2012. Some are saying the snow is not really snowing. It's not giving that snow effect it's supposed to give and uh yeah. Uh you do tell us what you think because uh we are not too sure about those who are creating snowmen or trying to reincarnate what they see in television uh during the time of Christmas, the festive season where uh, we're trying to build a snowman. And uh during this winter, don't try build a snowman uh, like the South Africans, but uh a little bit of the pictures that we got to catch you up with uh have an appreciation of yeah, I don't know whether they were accurate when it comes to building a snowman, but yeah, these are live scenes from South Africa that we got to see about um a few hours ago where they were trying to you know reincarnate that uh, special um season of winter and uh, this morning we also want to give you a 
weather report. I know it's not the weather report, but here on Trending with Kirtley, we always want to make um, our roads trend. And this is a specific live report from Leopold Takawira. Yes, you know the boulevard that has uh, the jacaranda trees. Please, just be careful. Uh, if you're trying to go to Parenyatwa, that is the road. Uh, you might want to go around uh, 2nd Street or the other way because uh, that boulevard along Leopold Takawira is full of snow here in Harare. Uh, that's a live report from our weather team this morning. So please be very, very careful as, um, uh, <laughs> yeah, if you're trying to travel uh, to Parenyatwa, that is a live uh, scene from Harare, uh, Zimbabwe, there, where there is actually so. So South Africa, you're not the only ones with snow. Also here in Harare, we have our own snow along Leopold. So be very careful, uh, Harareans. If you're trying to go to Avondale once again, um, also be very careful as uh, the snow effect will also catch up with you. And this morning, we want to talk all things to do with our artists and we want to celebrate them as um, Dallas, Texas will be having a special lineup of artists uh, we know it's winter, but we want to talk about the summer fest, and uh, this summer fest is going to include quite uh, some iconic artists that include Tammy Moyo, Enzo Aisha XQ, Mr. Putiti Pop Chain, as well as the uh, levels uh, there. Uh, if you know the Dallas, Texas uh, society that already has an appreciation for some of these artists, um, uh, they have been powered, and they are uh, going to be on their way. So this summer, look out. We won't be telling you the dates just yet, but stay Stay tuned here on a trending with Kirtley and we'll be able to give you uh, some of the coverage of uh, what these artists are going to perform. A big shout out to Bev and the Accelerate team for making sure that they are bringing through all these artists and all this power is also going to be speaking about one young man who says Handi Pere Power and Natio is a saying to us uh, today well this was on the Denny J show a few days ago but exclusively here we're breaking you the news of a question of the day which is saying Kuti Munom Zimbabwe tine record label ere cannot it's just black label red label whatever label you think is there but Natio is saying we don't have a record label let's listen when you talk about when you talk about Warner Music Sony and I'll give you I'll give, oh yeah you're yeah, speaking yeah. of a Zimbabwe situation yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, no, no 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 man <laughs> what do you mean yeah I'm no <laughs> man <laughs> so guys don't sign to local labels they'll do shit don't do there's it. no label in Zimbabwe don't do it oh there's no label which in label okay what do you mean chill spot records that's not a label so okay. shot. That's not a label. Right. Label. They think they think they're a label. No, mm. I don't know, but I know we. I'm from Bari. Big up Fanta mm. and Levels. Choose put family. It's because family. these guys. Why it's, I say they're a label? It's not a label. Why they? I say they're a label. Mm. Is they've got all these artists signed to them, <laughs> and they're getting royalties from the works that these artists are doing. They're pretty much getting paid from a lot of these new artists. Oh yeah. They're operating so maybe, exactly like a record so, label. So maybe okay, cool. On that note. I'm not aware of the other nitty-gritties with artists and eaters, see? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I didn't know that. The way I see Fountain and Devils is not like... Nothing you knew that, man. So someone younger sounds like what? Chill Spot Records is what? Any other place that they call themselves a stable for artists, what are they doing? Because according to Natio, this is not even an issue. This is not even something that is standing. And this has caused many of the artists to even speak very, very, well, let me talk about thought-provoking comments coming from Kiki Badass, coming from uh, the Samanyanga CEO himself, Holy Ten. Michael Mags also going ahead to say, Natio Mfana. Natio, Michael Mags, Mfana Ndiani. But anyway, I'm not here to spark any debate about record labels, that Natio interview, or what Holy Ten was saying. But at the same time, let's appreciate that Zimbabwe is very much a budding ground for growing artists. One thing about the Zim music industry is that it's the Zim music industry. As long as we're Zimbabweans, let's not battle, let's not fight, let's not say too much about each other's hustles or however we're going to grow. That's all I can say. And let's keep growing as well because Mr. Putiti XQ is on his way to growing himself and uh, he's releasing an album. Yes, we have one more, just one more song and it's one more time. That's the name of the song with Takura. We're just going to give you a little snippet before we close off the segment. Mr. 
put it in. One time, okay. Taga Santa Nanero, she's got Pando Nero, Kata Sisani. Good morning, Takara. <laughs> if I hear you what you want. <laughs> it's that time again that uh excuse coming with good music it's also that time where the sport update is coming uh i i just, there's so much light in here uh, but there's just a pinch of darkness somewhere in here i don't and, know if it's and, to my and, left and it, or to my right uh, it's, it's this side it's this side yeah. I, I just need to ask you yeah if you stand off that stool, would yeah. you get any taller? All right, you know what I'm going to do? <laughs> <laughs> this has been trending with Kurt Lee, a very, very exciting episode. As always, every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, you'll get to catch up with the darkness now. I'm just going to leave you there. But uh, with regards to leaving the set, follow me at Trending with Kurt Lee. I'm out. <laughs>